really excited to be opening up the new RIT City Art Space in the historic Sibley Building in downtown Rochester, 50 years after RIT moved its campus to Henrietta. An integral to the many parts of this process were the students in the interior design program. As part of their retail design course, they were tasked with sort of developing the design and the functionality of the space from wall to wall, from ceiling to floor. And much of the work that they did in that class is going to be integrated into the project. We actually um, presented our own individual um, projects and then uh, when we presented them, four of our designs were chosen to kind of go into a further um, phase where we all collaborated and came together to create one large design. It was extremely rewarding. It was the first project that we got to do that was real life. It wasn't an uh, imaginary make-believe space. We actually got to see from beginning coming in here to see what the space was before to doing the concept planning, designing, and presenting it. The overall vision was to keep an open concept, you know, have the movable walls be flexible and essentially make sure there's enough storage. So overall just have enough space for different types of artwork and accommodate for everyone. A big key element was um, connection to the community. Um, this is a big up-and-coming area. There's a lot going on, a lot of festivals. So I think just getting RIT's name out there, getting more viewers was important. So we're really looking forward to opening the new RIT City Art Space and expanding our programming downtown, bringing RIT's creative community through the College of Art and Design uh, in the middle of downtown Rochester and expands on the already existing programming that we have on campus both in Bevere Gallery and William Harris Gallery showcasing students, faculty, alumni work and our extended creative community.